So today I'm going to talk about one another feature of SciSpace, which is the libraries feature. And I'm going to quickly show you how this works and how it can be such a game changer for literature reviews, for data extraction, and for uh, framing and finding research gaps. So this is the SciSpace login page, the home page, and here you have my library, and even you can see here the library feature. Now, what I do is I'll go to the my libraries, and as you can see, I have few papers already uploaded here, but I'm going to show you how how I do it. So first of all, I'm going to show you this feature, which sh which shows that you can import your work from Zotero. So Zotero is a reference management tool, which helps to you know save the reads that you do on the web. So this is my library of Zotero, where I have created. Two different libraries one of, of for parkinson's disease and one is i've done previously on social inequalities i don't think so it is having any right now but yeah the parkinson's disease so this is my library which i've already created now what i'm going to do is i can pull uh, the papers directly in in spite of uploading the paper one by one and uh, uploading the pdfs like first i'll uh, you need to you know save the pdfs to your desktop to your own system and then you have to upload them one by one from here so instead of doing that you can simply just keep on saving everything on zotero and then directly import your work from zotero so once i click this import from zotero you can see you, you have to i mean i can enter any folder name or i can create the ones already i can see so let me just show you how it works so i'm going to click the parkinson's disease folder which i had created which shows one folder selected and it also shows that only pdf files and papers in your uh, zotero library will be uh, imported right it will um, if you have any files that were previously imported they will not be imported so let's see now i've clicked this i say import and now it's going to import the entire parkinson's disease folder that uh, the studies which i saved here so you can see now another folder here it is created which is the parkinson's disease and it has got all the papers which i saved there right so there were four three four papers as you can see these are here so this is one great way uh, the tool integrates so nicely so easily with zotero and your work is all sorted you don't need to save everything or the papers one by one and download their pdfs directly you can directly uh, integrate directly use it here now i'm going to show you how i use it further so there's this uh, study which i was working lately which is about the uh, menstruation stigmas in sports and i had uh, uploaded a couple of folders or studies well, so it's like like it has nine files as you can see so to further explore or understand these papers see that it has so many uh, column features which which is like i don't need to really go and study each paper or read through the paper one by one entirely it it gives me a summary and it has options to include further sections so you can add columns here so depending upon your choice of what you want to uh, extract data how you want to extract data what particular information you want you can do it so suppose i want to understand what are the methods used in these studies so i can just add another column of the methods used in these studies in the papers i've uploaded and i will get a column of that right so you can see this is the extra column which has been added which shows what uh, what are the uh, methods used in these particular research papers that i've added right now you can go further adding papers as per your choice and even if there are some columns that you don't think are mentioned but you feel should be there uh, you can go on adding them so this is there's already a very comprehensive list but still you can add your own columns like i had previously added interventions on influence of factors so similarly you can create your own columns as well uh, another great thing is if i select the entire uh, folder which is like I, i'm working on menstruation sports you can go on and uh, the AI here will help you answer your questions so you can directly brainstorm your questions and get some um, detailed insights from these papers collectively through this, this library feature. So like this, if I chat, now it says that it is going to now answer me questions from this particular uh, folder itself. So I'm going to ask a simple question like, <clears throat> 
what are the stigma related to menstruation in sports and just press enter and oops the sorry for the spelling it's sports so it will just go through the entire uh, papers which i've uploaded in this folder and it will answer my question so it says that these are the these are the particular uh, stigmas which are uh, there usually and not only is it giving me answers it is also giving me the source to that information so from the folder which i have uploaded it shows me uh, which paper says what so not only do you get answers but you also get authentic sources from the library or the group of pdfs that you have uploaded so here you can go on asking further questions and creating your own um, brainstorming and you can create your own uh, big background or a base for writing your work so like suppose i copy this entire thing i uh, stigmas related to menstruation and i go to uh, a notebook feature where i can create my own notebook right as you can see so it says a new notebook okay so suppose i want to start working with a new notebook which says menstruation in, in sports or maybe if you are already working on something you can just go on there so i am not working right now so i created one uh, menstruation in sports create generate and see it has already created an outline now you can go on refining the outline whether you need these portions or not uh so for now it is okay but maybe i will have to refine them yeah but coming to uh my search which i did so like the culture and social stigmas so what are the stigmas my question was i got some references i got some answer from the ai with the sources so i can paste it here to work later now this is not what the final version i'm not going to keep it entirely i'm going to still rewrite everything but but from the brainstorming of these folders i have few statements to further elaborate with the sources to them right so this is one great way of how this entire uh, library feature can help you from finding research uh, doing literature review extracting data doing brainstorming to writing your work uh, on the tool itself moreover if you go back to the library and to the search that you have done you also get options to export this particular uh, like you've created this table you see which says the summary the limitations the methods used so you can anyways even export the entire thing as a csv file or as an excel file or any other way of file that you want and you can even go on sharing this analysis or data extraction uh, to the other members in a collaborative research or other other researchers which you are working with so that's great uh, of uh, great way where you can collaborate where you can do brainstorming your literature you can extract data you can directly import your work from zotero and i i find this feature really really helpful and handy uh, so do give it a try and let me know uh, how do you think it is and how this can help you right now thank you